Uh, and I love state radio. That's the only thing you can do it. Like, there's nobody state radio. And I said it. Nicki Minaj, Nicki Lewinsky, Dirty Money, Young Money, The Mrs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 hold on, hold on, yo, what's good? What's going on, man? <laughs> I was popping, man. How's everything? Everything is wonderful, it's great, man, better than good. Oh, that's what's up, sounds like you in the studio, we had some music back there. Yeah, man, I stay in the studio. Oh, that's what's up, what you working on? Uh, right now we're working on my album, man, it's crazy. Oh, that's what's up, man, for those that don't yeah, know, we yeah. got Marcus Park in the building. And um, he's he's working on, uh, he got a lot of big things coming out, man, you know, so he's going to tell you a little bit about that. So how did the, the music situation come about? Uh, well, basically, well, um, after I finished Moesha, you know, I, I was I met, like, every music artist there was. And I've always been in the music, you know, I've been dancing for a long time, and my dad used to sing a little bit, so... Uh, you know, being around music so much, I, I, they were like, man, we, we know you're into it, so go ahead and jump on. So started working on my music early then, uh, about when I was 14. So I've been kind of keeping it low-key and under wraps and really getting myself together as an artist and doing my thing, doing a lot of shows and just and just getting it in. And now I got my first placement in the movie. I just did another Cinderella story. Uh, with Selena Gomez and Drew Seeley. Uh, uh, Selena Gomez is from Wizards and Waverly Place on Disney, the Disney show. I'm sure a lot of people know that show. And uh, Drew Seeley was on the on the uh, High School Musical tour. He he was on the five uh, greatest like uh, Disney soundtracks. You know what I mean? And I got a song with him called First Class Girl, which is crazy. It's, it's bananas on the soundtrack, and I'm in the movie, so it's really dope. Wow, wow, a lot of uh, big things going on. So um, a lot of people would like to know um, probably, like, what made you want to, like you said you've been doing, a, you wanted to do it for a minute, but, you know, there's a lot of rappers want to get into acting. So it's kind of right. like you, for, for actor going to rap. So it's kind of, you know. It, it's something new for the people. I mean, it's a whole new generation. I mean, there's some people that do it. I mean, there's some people that are really built for it. You know what I'm saying? And I think I'm just one of those people, man. I just want to get the people good music and stuff that they've been missing, you know what I mean? But still stay in the lane of what everybody's enjoying. So that's what I'm definitely bringing to the table. Cocky Boy is the movement, and it's it's, it's jumping off, man. I had uh, Aaron Reed in the studio last night, you know, L.A. Reed's son. And, uh, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they definitely looking at looking at your boy. <laughs> that's what's up, man. That's big. And Reed is big, man. Tell him I said what's up. He knows this. Yeah. Of knows course. Still. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, as far as like <clears throat> the producers that you're working with right now, who are you working with? Uh, man, I got my boy CJ out of Dirty South Studios here in Northside Riders. He's really dope. Uh, who else we got? My boy Wes killing it, killing it on the production on the album. We got T Fly, uh, out of LA, young cat. He was in the movie Rise. He's a dope producer, man. Look out for him. He's crazy. Uh we got a lot of different producers on the album though, man. We're jumping all around. That's what's up, man. So you kinda of keeping it um at art uh, are you working with like uh any like uh like like big producers like uh, um like uh Timberland or something like that or? All that stuff is in the works right now through the, through the new uh, uh, ventures, actually. They're setting up some of my big, big, big production setups, you know, and all my big features right now are getting set up. So it's a lot of stuff coming, man. It's it's, it's really going to be like I'm flooding the storm. So this is, so this is, as far as this, this is your first album. You've never done, like, a, a mixtape or anything like that? Or? No, 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 no mixtapes. Not yet. Not, for the, not until the album drops. We're going to get a mixtape after. Okay. Okay, that's what's up, man. It sounds good. Yo, uh, Man Man, you still on the line? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Um, yo. And, yo, you got some questions for uh, Marcus there? Yo, Marcus, what's up, baby? It's your boy, Man Man. What's good? What's good? Hey, man, Playboy, you shining, you, man. But, yeah, um, man. what I'm going to ask you, you know what I'm going to ask you. I, I was coming across DT, and your homegirl, Brandy, she got a little special coming on tonight, and I thought about it, I said, is it a rumor? The rumor was that she was getting brandy. I just want to know the truth. <laughs> he said, I just want to know the truth. 
about to know what's going on, man. Nah, I, man, Brandy, I got a, little, a lot of love for Brandy. Brandy is my my peoples, man. That's my peoples. That's that's good because that you you played the big sister on TV and little brother to go grow up in, you know. I just have yeah, to. Yeah, you're man. I'm, I'm, I'm just a grown man now, so, you know, everybody, you know, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's a great rumor, though. I don't know if it's true or not. Or, uh, or <laughs> but, you know, hey, you know, everything's good, though. I'm just doing my music right now, though. That's great. You just look a real swaggerific over there. Man, I'm having fun, man. I just, I just can't wait to this, this. I get to drop it on everybody, man. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see the people's reaction when they hear the music. That's what's good. What type of, what type of hip hop is it, though? Man, I just have to say, I'm, I'm very crossover. I mean, I'm doing a little bit of everything. I, I'm really like the new generation. You know, I sat back and watched, watched for a long time when I probably could have came out a long time ago. But uh, I mean, I just, I just felt like I was gonna wait, sit back. And really learn the game and, and get to really meet everybody and, and have personal relationships with so many different artists, but then never really lay down nothing with them until I felt like I was really ready. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. That's so you that's, that's where the position I'm in right now. Okay, where, where you at right now? Uh, I'm in Atlanta getting it in, man. That's where, you know, that's like the home of the music right now. So I'm in the city where the best do it. I mean, I've been mm-hmm. in Grand Hustle Studio. I was in Neo Studio the other night, recording in Terrell Owens Studio. You know what I mean? That's where I'll be getting it in. That's what's up. See, I know you're on your grind and all that, but, you know, I got to ask you, how are the emails out there? <laughs> how are the emails doing? Yeah. Oh, the emails is great, man. They can hit me up on, man, on, on my MySpace. You know what I mean? The backslash is MP Superstar. They can hit me up all day on that. You know what I mean? Hit me up. I got YouTube clips coming up on my new sessions and stuff that's going on in the studio. Just type my name in, Marcus Paul, last name P A U L K. They can find me all day. Okay, okay, all right. Did you say emails or females? Oh, the females. Oh, the females? Oh, the females are great. I'm getting hit with emails. You dig? So I, I didn't know which one you was talking about, you know? I mean, you know the, females, the females are lovely, man. I'm just kicking back. Don't focus on my work right now, but if I do find a beautiful lady that I feel like has potential and she got her life together and she's swagged out, then we could, we could definitely do something. Yeah, I heard there's a lot of them down there, too. <laughs> oh yeah, Atlanta's got got some greatness down here, man. It's uh, it's cool, man. I've been in the studio so much. I've been getting out every now and then. I hit the Velvet Room up and a couple other places down here. Uh, uh, three hundred. You know what I'm saying? They got like I was on some sites. They was posting up little parties I was at. I was out with Luda the other night. We was at Velvet Room. And, you know what I mean? Jeezy and you know. That's what's Went up. down and did a cameo in Jeezy's video. President is black, so that would be looking for me out in that one. Okay. Man, I'm saying it's stuff going on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> see the waves. I see the waves are spinning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's just so much going on, man. I'm session to session. I'm in the studio right now, making this call. About to leave here and go to another session. So, you know. Going in, we getting it in right now. We gonna get to the bottom of this money. <laughs> That's what wow. it's all about. Could you drop some for the state listeners to hear? Drop a sixteen drink for us. Oh yeah, real quick, we can do some. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Mr. Entertainment's back, and the way I obtain the stacks, the ladies interact. Popping in explicit tags, what you know about that? I'm too cool, real smooth, like a Brazilian wax. Got the dry that these fakers like. I'm on my road to rich, but some stuck up in the cul-de-sac. Pay attention, get a load of that, cause my flow will make hoes react. The way I spit it like a loaded gat. Click, clack, brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
<laughs> that's what they're going to say when they hear it. They're going to be like, wait, 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 that's him from the, the, the young dude? Shorty do wop, shorty do wop. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Yeah, how, man. How, how how are you gonna like? How, how would you address the stereotypes? Because you have, like you have someone like Nick Cannon who was a actor first, and then he tried to get into rap. Like how how are you gonna deal with like comparisons to you know situations like that? When people hear my music, when they see me, when they meet me, see me look in my eyes, they're going to know what the difference is. Oh, okay. All right. Between me and any other young artist that's out, when they see me, meet me, they're going to be like, oh, okay, he's not them. <laughs> he's not them. <laughs> From the rest of all the other celebrities that's out there, I'm not them. I'm not them. You know what I mean? That's the difference. So when when I'm going to let the music do the talking, man. The music going to do the talking. And then when they see me perform, then they're going to really know. And they're going to know ain't nobody writing my rhymes. <laughs> they're going to know all that. You're going to feel me. That's what's up, man. So, um, I got and, stuff. So Aaron Reed was, uh, I saw the YouTube video where you was in the mm-hmm. studio with Aaron Reed and everything. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. So um, so you you guys, uh, he's, he's uh, he has a uh, like a record label now? or. Uh man, we just we just you know making some things work. Everything's coming into play right now, you know. Like everything's kind of hush hush until we drop it on the people. But yeah, Aaron, Aaron Reed was in the studio with me. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you look on YouTube, you stay see the they'll see the footage. They'll, they'll definitely know what's going on. Okay. And it's not a game. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's not a serious a movement right there. Aaron's a big dog. Yeah, Aaron Reed. Does, I mean, it, Reed. Period. You know that last name makes. Makes sense, you know what I mean. And I mean, I just did a track the other night with Jay Lack, who's Usher's little brother. You uh-huh. know what I mean? We got a crazy track we just did. He produced a crazy track for me. You know what I mean? Because he he produced uh, Get It Shorty for Lloyd. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of joints on Usher. You know what I mean? So he gets it in. He's, he's official. He's just a producer, or he's also an artist. He's just a producer. Oh, okay. That's what's up. He's yeah, he was gonna be an artist, but he's just a producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Lack. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he's a beast. Um, so we got that going on. I just did a song with uh, JR Get Money, who signed to um, uh, Grand Hustle. I okay. got a song with him called Gorilla Girl. That's crazy. So everything is coming, man. All the music is here. <laughs> Do you have a title for your album yet? Not yet, man. We haven't completed the album, so I, I haven't been able to put my stamp on it yet and really officially title it, title it out yet, but... We got some ideas. We got some ideas. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's from from what little bit of I heard on on the internet, and it sounds like you you come in with that that dirty south style. You know, like the the music is kind of like dirty south. Well, I don't no. I wouldn't say that because I don't have like all my music on my page. I just got a couple joints. Some of the joints are really old. Uh, Scream is like one of the newest joints. I really haven't even put the newest music up really yet because we're still choosing from it. So mm-hmm. that's stuff that I did like other than Scream and First Class Girl, which is on there from another Cinderella story. Uh, that stuff I did at like 18 years old. That's like, yeah, probably like two years old, three years old. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, man. But the new stuff is coming. The scream is all new, man. Scream is is that banger. That's that's my that's my crossover joint. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. You still there, man, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on? Hey, man. Um, you going by Marcus Pokes is your rap name, or you you got something else for? Him? Well, I, I, my pretty much every, everybody that know me, I mean, it's it's tatted on my inside biceps. It says cocky boy. Everybody calls me cocky boy. Like that boy, cocky boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying, it's a good thing. Stand for Christ only can keep you, you know what I'm saying? But, um, but uh, MP, Marcus Park, you know what I mean? You know, the fans going to call me what they want to call me. Like, hey, didn't you play Miles? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm that dude. Go buy the single. <laughs> <laughs> Download it, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, Marcus Park, MP, Cocky Boy, you know what I mean? All the ladies call me Cocky Boy. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's, um, <laughs> what's the studio you working out of, did you say? Right now, Dirty South Studio. It's a real old one spot, you know what I mean? Then I'm in a, other, a couple of other joints. I recorded in Grand Hustle Studio. 
Uh, I was at Usher Studio. You know what I mean? I'm getting it in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. I like yeah, it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's far but as I, I, I record in the box too. Sometimes you got to get the hits out of the box too. Sometimes you know what I mean? Just the brain box, we, we call it. You know what I mean? The box. So I go brainstorm at. Yeah, you know we go. Sometimes we got you know the little lab, a couple a couple cribs. You know what I mean? We go in there. And, and man, the joints you get at the crib sometimes are, are crazy. Yeah, man. Hey, man, wherever you can not bang crazy. out a hit. <laughs> man, we be banging out hits everywhere, man. We be on the on the road, man. We pull up the mic and, and, and everything we need and be right there in the hotel room getting it in. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, how you feel about auto-tune? How I feel about auto-tune? I mean, I'm not mad at auto-tune. It's just an effect. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like how you feel about the way the artists, um, how, how about so many artists are going in on it? A lot of different artists have opinions about, you know, the the use of it. Some artists are using it too much. Some, you know, some artists. I are mean, I feel like it's a new sound. If the song is good, people just need to just sit back and enjoy the music. Most of the people that be commenting on anything in life, I feel like when it's negative, usually are just hating. Or you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. if you have something to say about somebody, usually it's because you have nothing to do with yourself. Because <laughs> so your focus is on somebody else. Mm-hmm. Like, if you don't know that person, like, why even open your mouth about them? Like, I mean, I understand, like, the fans, fans, yeah, they love the people that they deal with. They like the music, you know what I'm saying? They love the music. But anybody who's hating or somebody who's succeeding, like, I'll never hate on anybody, like, forgetting that people be hating on Soldier Boy or this person. Like, Soldier Boy is dope to me. Like, go get your money, young man, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind that. I love that, you know what I mean? Uh, anybody hating on anybody that's in the game, it's like, it don't make no sense to me, but I don't know. I guess I come from a different aspect, or I look at the game different because I grind it so hard to get everything that I got, even though people think that it's Silver Spoon, but I'm, I really grind it. Like, I used to dance on Venice Beach for quarters and dollars like when I was four years old. Like, that's what I wanted to do. I told my moms I wanted to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I already knew what I wanted to do. I was an entertainer. I was born an entertainer. Wow, that's deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Real talk. Deep. So, like, anybody say, I ain't hustling and grind for anything I got, it don't make sense because I, I really counted dollars with my own hand, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I don't know. It's just a different grind for me, and I look at it different because I did come up in the game, but I still didn't lose nothing of what, who I am, you know what I'm saying, mean as a person. I'm just wow. me, though, you know what I mean? Some yeah. people will never get you. You're going to be misunderstood, like still like Weezy said, you know what I mean? Like, it's just how it is. Wow. That's deep right there, man. It's real so, um, yeah, definitely. So, uh, what's some artists that you want to work with as far as doing songs collaborations? Man, I want to work with. Like, I look up to a lot of people because I'm really into like performers. So, like right now, I would say, of course, Weezy, Jay Z, Busta Rhymes, uh, T Pain. Uh, shoot, I mean, there's just so many. Kanye, I can't wait to just go ahead and, and up the bar, but I, I love the fact, I'm I'm really trying to prove it myself, like, I, I don't really want nobody to do me too many favors, but I mean, I do want to present it the right way for the people, you know what I mean, I want to get them what they want, but I want them to hear me first, before they, they you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 definitely, you, before they get the collaborations, you want them to know exactly what you're about. Exactly, so, but we'll be leaking some music for them and start hearing me soon, this way it won't be too much longer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's almost early or over, you know what I'm saying? We preparing for Christmas, and then we're going to get back at them real quick. That's what's up, man. So as far as <laughs> on uh, the, the acting tip, um, you got any movies coming out in 2009? I got some stuff I'm up for right now, but you know how slow the acting game kind of been. It's kind of been iffy right now, so mm-hmm. right now I'm just kicking back. I've been doing cartoons and voiceovers, just getting checks, you know, ain't all over the place, but... Just kicking back right now. It really, I just really, I really been focused on this music so much, and they've been telling me, you know what I'm saying, like, MP, you need to just do that, enterprise yourself, and just really take over, because you're so good at music that it don't make no sense for you not to really just knock it out. So, here for me, has been, I've been musicked out, but I did some movies. I did a couple of joints that are still coming out and, and that are uh, shot, but they're waiting for stuff to go, you know, because the, how, the, how the movie business is going right now, so. Definitely. Uh, but I'm up for some big movies, too, so we're waiting for everything to pop off, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, yep. like to hear that. Yo, you, yo, man, man, you got any other questions for? 
I'm pretty good over here. MC doing big things. We're going to see when we come out to Atlanta. For sure, man. We're going to see what's up, man. I'm going to be back and forth. You know, L.A. is where I'm from, so I'm going to be in L.A., Atlanta, L.A., Atlanta, Pioneer, New York. So we'll be, we'll be all over the place. Oh, yeah. Let us know when you're coming to New York and L.A. You know, that's what we had out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to let y'all know when I'm getting out there. It probably won't be too long. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up, Yeah, man. MTV, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> BET, here we come. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's what's up, man. You got to send us some music so we can have you and you know uh, we can have you back and you can tell us how it was in the studio recording those those hits. Definitely, definitely, man. The music, the, yeah, the music's uh, it's, it's coming, man. It's it's all getting getting tipper taped and 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 we're <laughs> ready for the people. I can't wait to drop it on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't. Like I'm so like anxious right now. That's what's up, man. It, it's like I only can, I only can wait though. Can't can't rush anything. <laughs> so I can't rush you, anything. You had, you had mentioned um, Soldier Boy a second ago. So uh, mm-hmm. would you do a would you do a song with Soldier Boy? Are you are you? A yeah, I, I, I I have no problem with anybody. The only thing with the music game, the way the music game is, if people have beef with certain artists, sometimes mm-hmm. you can't do records with them. But I don't want to be categorized like that. Like I just want to be able to go make hot records. Go see the city, perform, show love. You know what I'm saying? Get back to the people. You know what I mean? And 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 that's it. That's what I want to do. You know what I mean? I don't, yeah. I don't feel like having beats with people and try to do all this, all this. Like when you hear my music, I'm 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 being me. So yeah. you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna do a record with anybody that want to do a record. You know what I mean? That's that's hot to me. And I, I feel like they're creative. Like he's creative to me. Even though you know what I mean? He's different. He's different. Yeah. Yeah. My dream record would be a, would to do a joint with like Eminem, Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Those are the records that I'm looking forward to doing, and I'm gonna prove myself so that way it's gonna be like, oh, oh man, well, come on, we're going to the studio. You can come to my studio. <laughs> wow. So for like, let's for example, two years from now, where would you like your music career to be? Uh, I wanna I wanna be I wanna be best new artist. I'm gonna okay. be best new artist. <laughs> That's what's up. Somewhere. I'm gonna be best new artist somewhere. <laughs> so you wanna hit them billboard charts heavy. <laughs> yeah, man. That's the plan. That's what it up. only takes my one. It only takes one. <laughs> but I'm coming with so many, man. That, that's the thing. Like when I get in the studio with these big heads and they and they hearing it, man, they just like you have so many joints that are really like singles. So they've been having problems even trying to pick for my songs. You know what I mean? So you know how that goes. It goes good. <laughs> and the, the, the same question I always ask everybody, how you feel about having a black president right now, man? Man, Obama, Obama, man. I talk about him in my album. I have to talk about Obama, man. <laughs> Gotta talk about Obama, about Obama a little bit. Gotta shout him out a little bit. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Man, man. That's a great thing, man. I, I mean, I just hope things go, go the way they're supposed to, man. I just I think, you know what I mean, he, he can do some things, you know what I mean, better than other folks have been doing, you know what I mean? So we we hope we hope that's what happens. Yeah, man, definitely. Definitely. It's a tough job. He has a lot of cleaning up to do, man. He's he's like Oh, the, man. He's a shit like, like you know what I mean, now. he's starting from he's starting behind like in the race, man, right now. Like he got to get back. And then, you know what I mean, he got to do more than a, the, a regular man would have to do. Yeah, definitely. So, but, I, I mean, I think he's going to be built for it. I mean, he's got swag, man. The president mm-hmm. has swag. You've seen, you seen him. You've seen him in his, in his debates. I've seen him in the debates. I don't know if you've seen him. I've seen him in the debates. That nigga has swag. <laughs> <laughs> well, he brushed his shoulders off. That killed it right there. He, he brushed his shoulders off. Who does that? Other than the black president. That is big. <laughs> Like that's so big to me. Like, man, that's inspiration right there for me to go ahead and go ahead and go platinum, go ahead and start doing my twenty million dollar movies. You know what I mean? That's all. That's what this generation is all about, man. Yeah. And I'm giving back to the people, man. When I get mine, I'm giving back to the people. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on some other stuff, man. I'm really ready to, to do something different. Yeah, man, that's what's up. But um, I, like, yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of you know young kids out there that's trying to you know do what you actually did. You got into the mm-hmm. acting game. You was very successful. Mm-hmm. You was on a hit show. And um, like, what is the situation 
with like because I, I hear that there's two types of Hollywood. There's like Black Hollywood, and then there's like you know White Hollywood. Like, is that true? And how, how, is it hard to, for Black actors? Is it still hard for Black actors to get work? Well, I would look at it like this. There's 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 a thousand black people really trying to act right now. Like there's a thousand, like we're really trying to get in there, really, really trying to do it. But there's a million white actors trying to go for that same role. Wow. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it, it it it's a it's a different balance, but the game's gonna change. You know, I mean, it's only in time. It, it's already changed a lot, but in some ways it hasn't. It, it just continues to evolve a little bit, a little bit. It hasn't really meshed to the fullest, and everybody really grasped the 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 thought of everything being one. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think uh, I really think that the people are just gonna gonna have to make it for themselves. You have to make it for yourself. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Nobody's gonna give you anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I mean, I try not to think of it like that at all because you start thinking negative in any situation that it's not possible. That's when you when you force yourself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You have to you you have to believe in yourself before anybody else is gonna believe in you. Yeah. I mean, with me wanting to cross over to music, there's so many people that are gonna be like, "What? You can't? What? How? Why? What? What?" But it's gonna be like I believe in myself. So when they hear me rap. They're going to have to believe in me because they're going to feel me. Mm-hmm. There is no, it, you can't fake the truth. Right? Yeah. You can't fake what you really, you know what I mean, are destined to do. And if you want to do something, you have to put that energy out there. You really have to believe in yourself, you know what I'm saying, pray about it, make sure that it's, it's something that you really want to do, focus. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Get wow. focused. Really put all your energy into that into that thing that you want to do. Mm-hmm. Don't let anybody tell you, you you're you not that person for that or you you don't fit that standard. You know what I mean? I'm not no pretty boy. I, uh, my mom think I'm handsome. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the ladies like it a little bit too, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I come out and I do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what's up. So, That's some you know what I'm saying? Me. That's some good advice, man. Because, you know, there's a lot of, you know, young kids out there that's trying and, you know, they ready to give up, you know? And yeah. Yeah. You know, they they right on the edge. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Glad to hear that, man. So, uh, yeah. But it sounds like you got a lot of great things going on. You got a great future, man. You know. Man, I'm just I'm just wait, waiting for tomorrow, man. Every every day it's like, well, uh, that's the new stand in the studio when they hear my stuff. It's like, man, yeah, that was today. But wait till you come in tomorrow, though. <laughs> Wait till tomorrow, man. I can't wait. That's what's up, man. What's up. <laughs> I like to hear that, man. But um, hey, man. tell them, tell them where they can find you as far as like your websites and your MySpace and stuff like that. Yeah, man. We getting all the websites, everything set up. There's all there's so much new stuff going on that they they rebuilding everything. But uh, you can find me right now on MySpace. The backslash is MP Superstar. You can find my music, the different blogs, some of the new stuff we doing. Everything's all new and recent, so it's just like. Popping up like crazy, so that's you know, up. check me out, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up, man. Yo, yeah, man, man. If, unless you got any more questions, man, we gonna close it out. We good, man. It was a good talking to you, Marcus. All right, man. You too, dude. Stay up, man. Be safe. Be blessed. Yo, good What's luck, best, my dude. Good All luck right. with everything, man. For from, from what Thanks. I heard, the music sounds hot, man. That's what's up, bro. I got some stuff for y'all, though, man. I can't wait to bring it. I said I could bump it up. That's what's up, man. All All right, right, man. Have a good night. Yes, sir. All right. Peace. Exciting news, New York. Empire.